folks, welcome to another battle report here. We're doing a thousand points in incursion match. We're going to be doing a couple of these um, for the next few games. Uh, I'm very excited to bring the Ultramarines back out. I have finished all of my Ultramarines painting for um, the Indominus set, uh, except the Judicar, but uh, that's okay. I didn't really plan on using them a whole lot. But then I'm moving on to my new project, which is the Necrons. That's the uh, force I've been hinting at. But uh, I really want to get the Ultramarines out um, and get them onto the table, see how they fare against the old Salamanders. So I brought a patrol detachment. I brought the um, Primaris captain from the uh, Indominus set. He has the Burning Blade, and um, he's kitted out exactly as you see with the um, Relic Shield is what it's called. Uh, for my Warlord trade, I think it was called Iron Resolve. It's the one that I think I add one to my wounds. I'll have to double check that again. Uh, three Blade Guards, very excited to try these guys out. Then in my Troops Choice, I have six Assault Intercessors right here. Um, then I have two sets of tactical marines, uh, plasma, combi plasma and plasma. And then um, the meltas in this squad will be proxying as more plasma. And then moving over here into the heavy support slot, the eradicators. Then I have a devastator squad with two plasmas, two las cannons. Uh, they have the little cherub that lets me uh, fire up one weapon uh, a second time once per battle. Then three Outriders, and that is my 1,000 points of Ultramarines for this incursion mission. All right, we got 1,000 points of Salamander successors. Uh, for my two successor tactics, I'm running uh, Hungry for Battle and Whirlwind of Rage. Hungry for Battle gives me an extra inch on advance rolls and charges, and uh, Whirlwind of Rage um, if I've been charged. Make a charge or heroically intervene. Uh, unmodified hit rolls of six are an additional attack. So hopefully we'll be getting in close and doing some damage. I got my captain with his Terminator uh, armor with the Relic Sword and the Forge Master. Lieutenant with the Teeth of Terra um, as my standard. Uh, and for my troop slots, uh, we'll come over here just real quick. I got two five-man squads of intercessors, uh, both with the auto bolt rifles and uh, the grenades. And then I got a five-man squad of infiltrators. Um, and then in my elites, I have my three aggressors who are Flamestorm. And I got my three Blade Guard veterans and my company Ancient, or Blade Guard Ancient, sorry. They're in the middle of being painted, so they are not don't have the bright orange colors on them yet. They will soon. And then for my fast attack, I have my three Outriders ready to go and cut down some Ultramarines. Here we have 1,000 points, Salamander Successor. So here's the table we are playing on today in this incursion uh, game. We are playing Ascension as the mission. So there's a total of five objectives. One here, 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 and there. Um, so this is the table. Deployment zone is nine inches from the center over this way and this way. So a zone there and a zone there. Uh, and that's pretty much it for objectives. I went with, we actually, okay, we both went for the exact same objectives. Uh, he chose grind them down engage and the mission um secondary which is i think called ascend i believe uh which means we just have to be close to the middle so uh very uh good uh choices for both of us it's going to be a very good game for choosing zones i have a five i got four four oh i get to pick exciting all right we'll come back after the ultramarines have picked their side and we've deployed and we'll see who's going to go first we have deployed so i chose this side um in the end actually it's probably the most evenly set up uh terrain set that we've had in quite some time which is awesome um but uh yeah i just chose this side my marines are on this side so, so what i did i got a attack squad in front there uh no one is touching the um the walls there everyone's backed away from it so we're not looking through uh devastator squad there they are in enough movement to move forward jump up onto this second um, floor there and shoot i'm um, using my strat to keep them still if i so choose Attack squad in front, uh, assault intercessors up front, blade guard on this side. Over here, I took the ultra rings, definitely taking the more aggressive stance towards things. Um, I have my um, eradicators here, so my plan is I can move them forward and advance. And if I get through there, I've got some targets, but um, that requires a nice advance roll. Salamander side, oh, and uh, my outriders obviously right there. The other guy's just around the other side of the, the building there, just so I could tuck away a bit more. Um, aggressors. Uh, 
Blade Guard, Captain, or sorry, Ancient, Lieutenant, Captain is in the middle right there. Um, Intercessor squads in front, Outriders, and then the Infiltrators right there. So now we're going to find out who goes first. And as you all know now, uh, the winner of this roll off gets first turn, no question asked. So let's see. Three to a one. Salamanders go first. That's it. So I think that's everything covered. Oh, no, last thing. Uh, Salamanders have five uh, command points to the Ultramarine, six. I have not spent any, but that's it. So we'll come back after turn one. All right, that's it for Salamanders movement. So it's probably going to be a pretty quick turn. The aggressors and company over here move forward, um, grabbing this objective. Uh, there's no windows or anything to shoot over here. So it's a game of cat and mouse. Everyone else is sitting still. He's just full on. That's it. So this is, I think, the end of your turn then. Yep. All right. <laughs> uh, any points awarded for secondaries? No, nothing. Where am I at? Nothing yet. So slow start to the game. We both were talking, and interestingly, we. Uh, I, I actually, I won it first turn, but then I didn't, because now I have to... Now I'm, again, technically getting the first turn of coming out and exposing myself. So we'll see. We'll come back after Ultramarines, turn one. All right, the Ultramarines are getting set up, um, getting tactically positioned. So Devastator Squad moved in here, moved up, um, spent two CP, so they are staying still. We're going to fire at these guys over here, get rid of the um, aggressors. Um, the Radicators came across. They have a line of sight onto the Blade Guard, so I'm going to go for them. Uh, my Blade Guard moved this way. Uh, my Outriders moved up. Assault intercessors, intercessors moved up, grabbed that objective. Captain moved up. He's in range of the objective, advanced as well. Uh, attack Marines just came through to get some extra fire over onto the um, Aggressors. And then I tried to advance with the Ultramarines down there, but rolled a 1. I need to get anything but a 1, and then it would have been over in the side pocket, mostly out of line of sight and holding an objective. So I decided to keep them there for a little counter punch with the plasma. That's it. So we'll come back and see if I can do some damage to this side of the, the table. All right, so good good start to the Ultramarine turn. We hit first, taking out the aggressors. Even with Transhuman, my Devastators rolled like insanely well. Um, killed off one of the Blade Guard with the um, Eradicators. Uh, dropped another down to um, uh, two wounds, thanks to a fire from the Outriders. Outriders took three wounds from the um, aggressors doing the ancient stuff. They got their shots off before they were taken down. Now we got some charges that are about to go up. We'll see what happens after this. So some charges going with the Outriders and the Blade Guard. So I'm gonna measure up distances, then I'm gonna see if I make the charge. Okay. So we measured up. I need eight inches for these guys to go through here to get to the Lieutenant. I'm not multi-charging. Then these guys are gonna go for the Blade Guard. And I think it was six inches I needed there, if I recall right. So. Wish me luck, everyone watching. If you're an Ultramarine fan, Salamanders fans, boo this roll. This is for the Blade Guard. A six. I have five CP. Getting in would be huge. Absolutely huge. It's an eight. <laughs> it's risky. It's risky. Uh, do you mind measuring up with the uh, these guys again, just to double check their roll? Yeah, I, I'd rather get in, take out your... Let's go. Seven inches away, or seven to get in? Seven to get in. Okay. Oh, it's kind of risky here. So, no, I, I will let that go. My blade guard shall sit and wait another turn. Uh, then, so we will do the, uh, we'll do the bikes going at his blade guard. So here we go. That's it. There we go. So the bikes made it with a seven. They're going in. Now, out of curiosity, you can never know. Okay, so the blade guard wouldn't have made it. But the bikes will go in. We'll come back and see what ends. Happens. Ultramarines turn one. So didn't do any damage. He rolled impressive on his saves. Uh, and I actually rolled pretty miserable on my wounds. I think I got all my hit rolls. Pretty sure. Like, it was wild. But then my uh, wound rolls didn't go over too good. I spent two CP to get the Gene Rob Might and um, Signs of Gulliman just to see what happens. Um, just I, If I can kill one of those, it's going to help. But I had one guy live. That's the story. That's the, the tale here. So I'm blocking his bikes from coming around here and keeping them engaged for at least another turn. Um, and that will help uh, the rest of my forces keep moving up and getting at them. So uh, that's it. Uh, Ultramarine scoring three for engage, two for ascend, or sorry, not engage, or uh, yes, two for engage. 
I think. Yes, because I am holy within that quarter there. Um, so two for engage, two for ascend, and three for grind it down. And we'll come into Salamanders, turn two. Salamanders movement, so we'll give you a look at the Salamander side over here. Uh, blade guards, um, they consolidated over. Uh, Lieutenant came back to help finish them off, and with the blade guard just moving forward, or sorry, the ancient moving forward a bit, so they're going to get their charge in to um, help out there, um, potentially. Then over this way, these guys are positioning. They're waiting for a counter charge, um, so I, they have a lot of speed, so I got to be wary of them. Intercessors came through with the captain. Uh, infiltrators sneaking around on that flank there. So, still good coverage by the Salamanders, uh, scoring five for primaries, and we'll come back after the shooting. All right, that ends shooting. So, lost my assault intercessors in there, but between the combined fire of these guys and um, someone else fired them. No, uh, Purgatorius. Purgatorius, the... that's what it was, with doing two damage, taking a guy out right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. So uh, some charges going to be going down. We'll come back and see what it looks like after all of a sudden. Right, that ends the combat. So um, what happened through here, we're just going to pick this up so visually you can see. So uh, these guys decided to come first um, through here. I did my defender stratagem, so they fired, they fired, and they fired. Um, then he made the charge, I killed two guys. Just for the, the uh, charge roll that he got, it was only six, so that only brought the unit to right here. The captain couldn't physically fit through. Uh, I gave him the option of switching just because, like, we didn't really consider that having the blue block on top. But with that defender stratagem, he opted to keep his captain alive and safe because there was a um, tons of plasma and las cannons, and then there's two guys there that could see through at the captain as well. So it would have been uh, potentially the captain getting wiped there. So he went uh, went for that, and um, I roll incredibly well. Uh, those guys, he used transhuman statistically should have lived, but I wounded with I think all but one of my attacks. So just a fortune on my side for that. However, he does hold the objective. The bike over here, I didn't roll for it. <laughs> these guys came in and he had one wound. So he's gone, they moved up. Over this way, do you have these objective? Not that I hold it, but you do have that objective. So uh, I mean, I'm going that way anyway, but I have to deal with them. So I don't have that objective. I am only getting five points. So good play there, uh, killing all these guys and moving up. He has denied uh, Five points for me. Actually, 10 points because I would have had to hold more. So, good play on the Salamanders there. We'll come back after uh, uh, Ultramarines turn two. All right. So, that's movement done. These guys have moved over. I positioned last turn. They're right at the corner. So, that corner guy holds that objective. Uh, Captain moved through there. Uh, these Marines just kind of adjusted. I'm holding this objective. Technically, it's still his. Um, being that he, they're all objective secure, but I'm banking on killing them off. Uh, just position them so they can get shots there or over there based off where it needs to go. Blade guards move this way. The um, radicators moved up so they can shoot over here or into here as needed, but likely it'll be at the blade guard. Need to take them out. And devastators sting still. So that's it. We'll come back after shooting and see what it looks like. And only scoring five for primaries holding the one back. All right, so that ends the ultramarine shooting. So some good, good firepower coming through here uh, between the... Um, eradicators and this tax squad dropping the blade guards down to one with one wound. Uh, my blade guards are primed to come through there. Uh, over this way with this tax squad uh, single handedly taking out these guys. Uh, and then I took the risk, fired all these guys into the um, captain down there, dropping him with three wounds. So we're trying to just take him out uh, before he charges and he's tough. He's going to be um, not an easy one to dig out of there. So some charges are going to go down. These guys are going to charge in. Over this way, and my captain and his captain are gonna have a showdown. We'll probably get that on here, but we'll just go ahead. I'll do the blade guards first, then we'll do this on. So here we go. Over this way, uh, my blade guard diced up his blade guard. Then the uh, his <laughs> veteran. I did four attacks against him. He stood up to it. Um, yeah, so he's still there. Uh, I moved in such a way as well that he couldn't move three inches to heroically intervene. However, we're, we have a combat about to go down here. Captain versus captain in a exciting showdown. So I completely forgot I had the burning blade <laughs> over here against these guys. It worked out good. Um, just the dice rolls actually made it. So it worked out as it should have. Uh, but anyway, here we go. So I get six attacks, five attacks normally, plus one um, for uh, Shock Salt being a Marine. Hitting on twos, here we go. Ah, two ones. Uh, wounding on threes, your tough six, correct? Tough six against strength seven. Burning blade, let's go. 
That's two wounds. He only has three wounds left. He has a four up in ball, was it? Yep. Four up in ball. We'll come over here. Uh, made them both. Uh, uh. Man, you should see my dice rolls when this isn't filming. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to see his attacks back now and see if he can take out my captain. So this is very important because right now the Ultramarines have a very dominating position on the table, especially the Devastators. Both tax squads, Eradicators being alive. Uh, this side of the table is in a dire position with a full strength of uh, blade guard there. But if the captain can hold up, it'd be a huge boost. So got five attacks, four regular plus one can charge against. Yeah, what strength are you? Uh, I'm strength four, but I have uh, plus three because I have a relic plus five, seven, strength seven. Okay, I'm just, I have one CP left here. I'm debating on transhumaning, and I think I will. I didn't see the dice roll, so transhumant. Oh, so it was worth it. So, so fours. I'm fours. Yes. Did it help? Uh, it helped. Not at all, because that two would have been. <laughs> you reroll that salamander. Salamander yeah. reroll. Helped. Yep. So five of them. So five. Uh, I have a four up in ball. Two damage each. Two damage each. Uh, five. Uh, four up in ball. AP minus. I assume three. three. Yep. So I have a four up in ball. I'm rolling left-handed here. That's my problem. Watch. Here we go. Five, right? Yep. Five. Here we go. Big moment. Big moment on the camera here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Uh, the battle continues in the middle of the table. So great stuff on both sides. Very exciting. Um, that has kept the Salamander single-handedly still in this match. So uh, really excited to see that. Uh, in terms of points, uh, I have two for engage at the end of my turn. Did I get grind them or did I tie you? I tied you, yeah. So nobody gets grinded down. I had to I had to kill that captain, so it was very big there. Um, and killing that blade guard or ancient would have been huge too, but still though, denying it from him still a win. We'll come back after Salamander's turn uh, three. All right, folks, so we're back to, um, well, actually, we'll recap the turn thus far. So the bikes came in in charge here, killed off a Marine and a half in this squad with their shooting, uh, killed off one and a half guys in the combat. Over this way, Lieutenant joined, killed off a guy and a half over here. And then we're back to this combat. So the charges have been done, so I get to pick. I'm going to start with this fight here. So we're going to see the captain's showdown again. So we'll get this epic moment captured fully in this battle report. So I strike first with my five attacks. Now that uh, no one has charged, hitting on twos. Oop. Dice here. All hit. Show me that again. Wounding on threes. Next to the burning blade. That's three of them. So you got three. Four ups. Two damage each. Don't fail. One. Oh, he failed one. Captain is down to a single wound. And I have no command points to... Do any re-rollings of any sort so your captain gets to hit back now Let's see what uh he can do oh four attacks strength seven hitting on twos so let's see so three hits <clears throat> so wounding on threes uh it's two yeah you do have your salamander re-roll with one of those Two. Two four ups for the captain on the ultramarine side. Failing one. So he takes two. Salamander's captain takes two. So blow for blow right here. And then we'll come back after the combat over here and see what it looks like. Right, so over here, I knocked him down to uh, three wounds. So Stinker running around with all his wounds. Um, with the blade guards that got killed. Um, sorry, he attacked back the blade guard um, ancient and killed off a guy. So... Uh, I only had the sergeant left who was over on this side. So he fought back, dropped him down a bit. But that's it. So uh, did you kill no units fully killed as of yet? Uh, morale. morale for... Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay. Yep. He is... Oh, hey, he's good no matter what because I add one because I'm ultramarine. And he's a sergeant. So yes. So yeah, he's good. Um, there, well, there was two killed, but he's a sergeant and um, an ultramarine. All 
All right, so that um, we're all just about done Ultramarine's turn three. So maxing on my primaries, controlling over there, um, there, because this guy's in range, and then these guys holding this one. Um, we just did the uh, Salamander's attacks here. I forgot to put it on camera, but I'm down to two. And then over this way, I killed off the Lieutenant, and the bikers were taken out by um, these guys falling back and shooting, and these guys shooting, plus the Devastators. So now we're going to do my attacks. I'll roll left-handed since I didn't get the other ones on camera. Uh, so let's go. Hitting on twos. These are my attacks against his captain. All hit. Wounding on threes. Ah, only two. Don't fail in two four ups. Come on, baby. Failure. That's no it. CP. No okay. CP. And I'm also to my CP because I transhumaned. So that is it over there. And then that gets me grind them down. Being um, having killed those two. And then um, that's it. So we'll come back after the fight's here. All right, so we're into Salamander's turn four. Um, honestly, at this point, I think the Ultramarines have it in the bag. However, some things can happen here. So over this way, the, the Ancient that I cannot kill has shot me hit me, wounded me with his Purgatorius Relic. So I have a four up involved to make, or he kills me, and then potentially that flank. I've made it with a six. So we'll come back though and see if some damage can be done in the middle to this captain. All right, folks, so that's, that's the game there. So there's only three guys left here. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. So, um, he did enough wounds. He did three wounds. He had two wounds to begin with the captain here. Uh, failed three, saves. Then I had my six up, uh, ignore the wound. And then I rolled a six, a one, and then a six. So the captain stands. So legendary captain right there, over this way, the blade guard stood valiantly, but he was taken down. So, uh, we were just talking, story of this game, this is the hottest I've ever rolled with my Zinc Ultramarine dice. But yeah, it was just very fantastic rolling on the Ultramarine part. Um, and then I think too, like with this terrain setup, um, we both were, um, agreed that whoever actually got to go first, I think had the disadvantage. Whoever made the first move was at a disadvantage, um, just based off where the objectives were located in this mission being like, it had to be a very aggressive push, but on a whole, I think it was a great game. The dead piles are pretty big on both sides. I have a lot of units limping around, uh, a captain with one wound, two attack marines right there. These guys are hurt. And then only two wounds on this guy too. So very uh, good game on a whole, so incursion missions are a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a couple more of them, just a faster play and um, a lot more intense, uh, just with the size of the board. So that's it. Um, let us know if you want to see more Ultramarine versus Salamander battle reports. We have some new players coming into the channel as well. Uh, there will be an incursion battle report with Tau coming up later this week as well. I'm likely going to play my Tyranids against them. So thanks for watching. That's it.